Hello everybody, it's Zap Dunga, better known as Mr. T back again. I'm here to astound you, especially astound some of my former students with my psychic abilities, okay? I'm going to call this trick Psychic Abilities. I bet a lot of you didn't know that I had psychic abilities. Oh, you're probably saying, come on Mr. T, you're pulling our leg, you don't have no psychic abilities. Well, I'm about to prove to you that indeed I do. First, I'm going to show you that I have an ordinary deck of bicycle playing cards in my hand. And you know where I bought it. Yes, you're right. ShopRite, that's my favorite store to shop. And now I would ask for you to come up out of the audience, if you were here, and cut the deck as many times as you like, until you're happy and content. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it just one more time. After you cut the deck as many times as you like, I would ask you to place the deck right here in the palm of my hands. And I would tell you, using my psychic abilities, not the top card, because you might think that it's a marked deck, but I would tell you that the bottom card is the Queen of Hearts. Now, how could I know that? And if I turn it around, the bottom card is indeed the Queen of Hearts. Okay, it's a regular deck. Now, you might say, oh, Mr. T, you were lucky. You took a lucky guess. And you might be right. Some people are lucky. So I ask for you to cut the deck again a couple more times. Okay, and once you were happy and once you were content that you cut the deck, you would place the deck back in my hands and once again I would tell you almost immediately the bottom card is the Ace of Diamonds. Now, two times in a row, that's pretty good. Okay, so now you're starting to get suspicious that, hey, maybe Mr. T does have psychic, psychic abilities. But I would have to prove it to you one more time and I have to prove it to you in a big way. So again, I would ask you to cut the deck numerous times and this time I would fan out the deck and ask you to choose any card of your choosing. Let's say you chose the Queen of Diamonds. I'd ask you to place the Queen back in the deck, close it up, and then cut the deck as many times as you want. And I will find that Queen of Diamonds. So let's say at this point in time, you just wanted to cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it, okay? And you wanted to stop right here. Well, I would be able to tell you, I know this is going to sound fantastic, but that the 12th card from the top of the deck would be the Queen of Diamonds. So let's see, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The Queen of Diamonds. Hope I've proven to you that I have psychic abilities. Thank you.